This wooden train car, shaped like a G, is missing one of its wheels. Fortunately, I've recently acquired a lathe. It's a very small one, but it should be perfect for this job. Let's use this scrap piece of wood and cut it down to size. Now that we have two roughly cube-shaped pieces of wood, let's mount them in the lathe. Despite having a small lathe, it's still oversized for this job. Once it's sawn off the base, it's actually starting to look like a wheel. Now it just needs some sanding. All sanded, the wheels are looking pretty good. The holes drilled in them, now we just need an axle. For that, we'll use an old chopstick. We just need to reduce the diameter, so I've put it in the drill press. With the axle properly contoured, the wheels can be slid on. And good as new. I'll add some glue and then let's try it out. This wooden train car doesn't actually belong to me. It doesn't belong to her either. Instead, it belongs to my employer. Now you know why it's shaped like the letter G. He doesn't know what's going on with my He's not even If you're ever in Google's security office, look for the Google train. <laughs> 